finished camping at Yellowstone a few weeks ago and we found a really great off the beaten path kind of campground while we were there. Yeah, when we were trying to plan our trip, uh, we had just heard that the campgrounds within the park filled up crazy fast. Um, every day we were there, it said everyone was full, uh, and we really could only fit in one of them. Uh, so we were looking at private parks outside the park uh, that would be a lot of driving. They were all at least $50 a night. Uh, and I just happened to come across this one online that was run by one of the national forests in the area. And uh, it was $7 a night. It's right outside the north gate, uh, right in Gardner, Montana. Uh, it's, Big metropolis. Yeah, a <laughs> very small touristy town. But we had some good food there. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's up a windy dirt hill, but it's really not too bad. We made it with our 28-foot trailer. No uh, problem. Yeah, and like I said, it's $7 a night. It's called Eagle Creek Campground. Um, there's a camp host on site. There's a pit toilet. Uh, no hookups, but, you know, we made do just fine. And, and the we, sites were huge. Yeah, we had like... We haven't had a site that big since, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, we could have fit three of our trailers on it. Uh, it was mostly tents. There were a few other tra travel trailers, um, but I think just about any size rig would fit. Yeah. Uh, and it wasn't too crowded, um, except for one night it was kind of full. Um, but they've got an overflow parking lot, so even if like yeah. all the sites are taken, you can at least kind of have a spot it just won't be like mm -hmm. a site you know and as for showers we were able to pay less than five dollars each for uh showers at the mammoth hot springs hotel which was about a 15 20 minute drive um it's right inside the north gate uh and just you'll be passing it anyway to get into the park right. so it's like on the way right so it just worked out really well um it was a very economical uh, way to do Yellowstone. The only thing I would have changed about it is, you know, it is a lot of driving picking one spot to do Yellowstone from, but if you're going to do it, do it that way. It's mm -hmm. it's really the easiest way to and do it. And you can always move to a different location. It's a good base for, at the very least, the Mammoth Hot Springs area and, uh, mm -hmm. like, down to about Norris probably, but th there's opportunities kind of further south, but up north I think you can't do much mm -hmm. better. 